Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this makeup look right here. It's a very warm, smoky eye. As we all know, fall is right around the corner and that's when all of the warm tones start creeping in. So this is the look that I came up with today, specifically because I wanted to use the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I've had it for a while and I've used it several times, but I wanted to get into it a little bit more. And if you've seen that palette, you know there's a whole bunch of warm tones in there. So there was a lot of options for warm looks and this is the one that I went for today so hopefully you guys like it and if you do and want to see how I got it then please keep watching okay so this is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette that I'm going to be using today as you can see there's a whole bunch of warm tones in there so I'm first starting with a fluffy brush in the shade silk cream and I'm just blending that into my crease as a transition shade and then using that same brush, I am taking the shade Creamsicle, which is a light orangey yellowy color, just to start bringing in the warm tones, and I am blending that into the crease as well. And then I am taking a smaller fluffy brush in the shade Hunts, which is a very bright warm orange color, as you can see, and I'm going to start working that lower into my crease and start blending it onto the lid it doesn't matter if you get it down there because I'm actually going to pack it all over my lid as well using that same brush then taking a dome brush in the shade Central Park it's just a dark brown I am applying that into the outer V and I'm starting to blend it towards the center of my lid and then I go back to that smaller fluffy brush that has a little bit of the orange left on it and start blending it further in towards the center of my lid and then I'm going to stop on the eyes for now and move to the face. So this is the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. A lot of people are using this as a primer a while back and they just kind of stopped. So I thought I would use it again today. And then for foundation, I'm using the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect. This is a really full coverage foundation. It's super affordable. You can get it at the drugstore. And with my skin being kind of bluff like it is, I thought I would use the extra coverage today. So I'm just blending that in with my Real Techniques brush. And then I'm using the RCMA foundation palette to just further conceal some blemishes. My previous video shows how I conceal my breakouts, so if you want to see how I do that, I will link that down below. And then for concealer, I am using the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm just putting that in all of my usual places. And then blending it out with a beauty blender as usual. And then I am just going to set where I put the concealer with some translucent powder. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. And then I am going to hop back into the eyes. So I'm taking a small blending brush and the first two shades that I used in my crease. And I'm going to start blending those along the lower lash line. And then I am taking a pencil brush and that shade Hunts. And I am just blending it along close up to my lash line. And then I will take that smaller blending brush with no additional product, just whatever is already on it to kind of blend and smoke it out a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and lashes off of camera. And then I'm highlighting my brow bone with the first two light shades in the palette. And then for eyeliner, I'm using this dual ended pencil from Urban Decay and one side is brown that I'm using on the lower waterline and then the other end is a black that I'm using on my upper waterline and I will list the exact colors down below. And then I'm just going to pop some mascara on my lower lashes. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. And then I am just going to take a little detail brush and use that same color that I used on my brow bone for my inner corner. Moving back to the face, I am going to bronze slash contour with the Hula Bronzer from Benefit. 
and I'm using this on my face as well as on my nose. I just used a little blending eyeshadow brush to slightly contour. Okay, so for the rest of my face, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill and Becca palette, and I'm using this center blush here. It's just kind of a bronzy type blush. It looks a little more pink on camera, I think, because there was probably some pink left on my blush brush. And then I'm also using the highlights in that palette, the Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. I'm first using the Prosecco Pop. It's more of a darker, warm, golden color. And then I use Champagne Pop on top of it, mostly just on like the highest points because of a lighter brighter so it really makes that point pop and then I also used it on my cupid's bow and down the center of my nose and then I also popped it on my inner tear ducts because that shade that I used was so light and bright and I just wanted to kind of warm it up just slightly because this is such a warm eye look And last but not least is lips, and I am first lining with this Makeup Forever pencil in the shade 5C. And for lipstick, I am using the NYX Whipped in the shade Cocoa Bean. I have never used this before. I think I got it in an Ipsy bag. I have several NYX products, but this is not one of them. But it smells amazing, just like most of their lip products do. And it just so happens to be pretty much the same color as my lip liner. So then to add a little bit of dimension and highlight in the center, I'm applying the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stripped. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys like this look. I think it turned out pretty good. I love a good warm smoky eye for fall, as I think most people do. So if you guys did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I will link them up here on the screen next to me and down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you on the next one. Bye!